Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jack and welcome to today's video. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at ViewSonic's VP2768 4K Professional Monitor. So this monitor is aimed at creative professionals like video editors, photographers and graphic designers and anybody who needs colour accuracy. So first off, before we get into the review, let's take a look at what you get inside the box. So you get the power cable, a mini display port to display port cable, and a USB 3.1 upstream cable. All of these are 1.8 meters. You also get a quick start guide and a bunch of color calibration papers to show what your monitor achieved in the tests, which I think is pretty good and really something people will appreciate, especially those concerned with color reproduction. You get readings of the panels sRGB, EBU, SMPTEC, and Rec 709, and a uniformity report. Now ViewSonic also explains that they spend four times longer calibrating these monitors in the manufacturing process than competing brands, so it should be calibrated out of the box. In the box you also get the stand, and we'll come back to how great this stand is later on in the video. And of course you get the monitor itself. So going back to the stand, it is really easy to set up with a monitor, you just slot it in. It's as simple as that. And to release the monitor from the stand, it's a simple press of a button. Now this monitor looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, look at the bezel, it's so thin, there's no branding, nothing. It is super clean. Now this is possibly one of the nicest looking screens I've had on my desk ever. Now the good thing about this frameless design is that you can put two monitors side by side and they're almost seamless, which is great for editing, photography work, or even gaming. Now the stand features swivel, pivot and tilt and also height adjustment. Now I'm a big fan of how you can swivel the screen without moving the base of the unit. It makes it really easy to adjust the monitor at different angles instead of having to pick up the whole screen to move it. And in terms of branding, there's just a small ViewSonic logo on the base. Now this monitor has a bunch of inputs which I think will suit most people, including two HDMIs, display port, mini display port, audio out, USB up and four USB downs which can be used to power devices, charge your phone and there's also a Kensington lock. It is a shame that there's not a 3.5mm input although I'm not sure how many people really use it and most people just use sound carried by HDMI or DisplayPort. Now as it says in the name the monitor is 4K Ultra HD 3840 by 2160 resolution and this for me is where the big sort of wow factor happened. The screen looks absolutely fantastic, text is super sharp, colours are vibrant and the blacks are dark thanks to the IPS panel. And with 4K resolution at 27 inch you're getting 163 pixels per inch which is super impressive. You literally cannot see the pixels even if you go right up next to the screen. For me as a creative working in programs like Photoshop, InDesign, Premiere Pro, the quality of the screen is honestly breathtaking and for me it's made design and video editing really enjoyable because I can see what I'm producing in the absolute best quality. The panel also features what ViewSonic calls super clear IPS panel technology with 178 degree viewing angles which is great if you're viewing content from the side or have the monitors at an angle or if there's a group of people huddling around the monitor to look at footage everyone's going to be able to see things clearly. Now in terms of colour, this monitor produces a whopping 1.07 billion colours with 10-bit FRC. Now what's FRC I hear you say? FRC stands for frame rate control which essentially boosts the quality of colour in a screen. But even though this screen does produce a huge amount of colours, it is not HDR10 which is a shame and if it did have HDR10 this monitor would be absolutely ridiculously good. But if colour accuracy is what you care about, this monitor does have 100% sRGB coverage so perfect for image editing, unless you need 100% Adobe RGB. Now the difference is pretty big and 100% Adobe RGB has a much wider colour gamut than sRGB. Does it matter for you? Well check your camera if you're a photographer to see if you shoot in RGB or sRGB. Now I personally shoot in sRGB because most content online is sRGB, phones, monitors, but the whole sRGB, RGB situation is way more complicated than I'm explaining in this video. So if you are thinking of getting this monitor, be sure to research the different colour modes and what you need as a professional. Now with this screen, you're looking at a contrast ratio of 1300 to 1 and a dynamic contrast ratio of 20 million to 1. Now what is dynamic contrast ratio? Well it's essentially measured by varying the brightness of the backlight whilst true contrast is done at a fixed brightness. You learn something new every day. The takeaway from that though is that the huge number you see from dynamic contrast ratio from monitor manufacturers is really not that significant in terms of how much contrast your monitor actually has because most of the time you're going to be at a fixed contrast and fixed brightness so you're not really going to see those varying rates. However to me on this screen the contrast ratio appears to be very good so there's that. But it doesn't just end there in terms of professional use. This monitor is also great for gaming. 
We're looking at 14 milliseconds response time on this monitor, so for hardcore gamers who want 1 millisecond response times, maybe this screen isn't for you. But for gamers looking for great colours and contrast, this is a monitor to consider. Just make sure your GPU can handle 4K. It's also only 60Hz, so anyone looking for higher, again, this monitor may not be for you. Now, if you're someone who prefers story to FPS games, then this monitor would be something you would enjoy, especially as the colours are extremely vibrant and the contrast and brightness are great. So if you're someone playing a game in a very vibrant and immersive world, this monitor will be great for that. Now, IPS bleed. It's something that most IPS screens suffer from. Does this screen suffer from it? Unfortunately, it does. However, it doesn't really bug me that much as I don't really watch films on these screens, but if you're someone planning on watching a lot of letterboxed content where the top and the bottom of the image is mostly black, then this may be an issue for you and you may find it annoying. Personally though, for me and my design work, this isn't really a problem. Now in terms of the on-screen display, ViewSonic give you a bunch of different options. From the main OSD shortcuts, you can access colour mode, adjust the contrast and brightness, change the inputs, and then you can go into the main menu. Now from the main menu, there's a lot of options that, to be honest, most people won't use, but there's handy options including sleep and auto off, auto pivot options, and of course all the settings to manually adjust things like colour, contrast, brightness, gamma, sharpness, and many many more if you don't find that this monitor is quite there with colour accuracy if you need to perfect it a little more. Currently I use these monitors every day for photo editing, video editing, and just general work. And it's worth mentioning, because of how clear these screens are with the 4K resolution, my eye strain is typically non-existent. Now for those of you worried about blue light causing eye strain, the screen does have an auto low blue light option if you hit the button above the power button. And in terms of gaming, this monitor has been fantastic and I've really enjoyed using it on games like PUBG, Overwatch. And considering that it is only a 60Hz panel with a 14 millisecond response time, I've not really seen any issues with me playing FPS online. And in terms of contrast, brightness, colour and sharpness, it's noticeably better than my previous BenQ monitor and in general I've had no issues at all. Now there's only really a few downsides with this monitor that I've experienced so far, one of them being there's no HDR, but of course you know that before you buy this monitor so it's not really an issue, and also the IPS bleed. Now obviously there are varying levels and you get IPS bleed which is barely noticeable and then you get very severe IPS bleed. I would put this monitor more towards barely noticeable, but there's some of you out there who will find it more annoying than I do, so it's just something to consider. Overall, if you're looking for a 4K monitor that has stunning colour and contrast with a variety of inputs for design, editing and occasional gaming, then I think this monitor is worth picking up. You will not be disappointed. So there you have it guys, that was my review of ViewSonic's VP2768 4K monitor. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. I've had these monitors for a while now, so if you have any questions about the product, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big like or just leave a comment to let me know. And of course, subscribe for more tech videos and I will see you in the next one.